Are you ready? Are you set? <gasps> yeah, let's go! <laughs> guys, Erin here at Eat Move Rest and welcome back or if it's your first time to our channel then welcome and good morning. It's breakfast time and I'm going to be taking you guys through yet another what I eat in a day as a vegan or plant-based breastfeeding mom. I am now nine weeks postpartum. Max just hit his two month mark. He's growing like a weed. You guys will see little clips of him, of course, because we do everything together, especially today because it is a snow day. It's about eight degrees outside. So we're cooped up in the house. It's the perfect time for me to show you guys exactly what I'm eating as I'm breastfeeding and now that I'm incorporating more fitness back into my life. For a while there, I was kind of just, you know, taking time to recover and repair my body that went through a lot as we all do during pregnancy and childbirth. So that being said, I'll splice in a little bit of my fitness that I've been doing, but I know you guys really wanna know what I eat in a day. I will say it's upwards of 3000 calories a day. I'm always hungry, burning through that fuel to produce breast milk. I'm also incorporating a lot of foods that help to increase lactation. So stay tuned. I will kind of explain a little bit. If you guys are into these what I eat in a day videos, if you want to see more, more from Dusty as well, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up in the corner. Join us here at the Eat Move Rest fam. We would love to have you join. Leave me some love in the comments below. Let me know what you thought. And of course, if you know of anyone this could benefit or who might enjoy watching this, then of course share with friends and family. So let's get going. So if you've been following Dusty and I for a while, then you know that we live in the Midwest. We live in the great state of Nebraska. We are completely landlocked. And like I said, it's a snow day. So much snow on the ground, probably more than a foot. But that being said, we still get an abundance of tropical fruit at our Whole Foods market here in Lincoln from time to time. Not always, but I was so stoked to find this yellow dragon fruit, this star fruit that's so much fun when you chop it. It looks just like little star shapes. Pineapple is pretty easy to find. So is papaya. Bananas, of course. Kiwis. Um, fabulous, delicious mangoes that are so soft and juicy lately. And another exciting find is this passion fruit. So because we have such an abundance of tropical fruit that I was able to come across at the grocery store, instead of doing my typical green smoothie that I love to do almost every morning, every once in a while I switch it up because variety is the spice of life. I'm gonna make myself a fresh tropical fruit plate for breakfast to fuel me for a morning workout and then afterwards we'll see what I'm feeling but it's gonna be some sort of protein to replenish my muscles. So if you guys have never had a dragon fruit, I love the yellow ones the best, honestly. Usually you can get them where they're pink on the outside and white in the inside, and sometimes if you're really lucky, you can get them where they're pink on the outside and pink on the inside, and those ones make for gorgeous smoothies. That being said, if you've never had a dragon fruit, highly recommend it. It tastes pretty mild. It's sweet but mild, and well, I would say kind of similar text texture as a kiwi. Star fruit, another super mild fruit. Crunchy, crispy, not quite as crunchy as an apple, but definitely crispy. A little bit tart, really good. And has a flavor of a green apple. Pineapple, mango, banana, kiwi. Pie is really good for healthy digestion. It's a great, easily digestible fruit to have first thing in the morning. Obviously you scoop out these little seeds inside. I've heard some people say they blend them into smoothies. I don't do that, but it's a really good smooth texture. Um, 
I posted on my Instagram recently that it's the one fruit that I don't really love, but I love it blended in smoothies. And I think that has helped me to kind of acquire a taste. And now a lot of times if I get a good papaya, I do actually enjoy it. So if there is a fruit or vegetable that you're not into, but you know it's good for you, like kale, throw it into a green smoothie or any type of smoothie. And that will help your gut flora to change, your taste buds will change over time, and you may acquire new tastes for healthy and nutritious foods. You can eat more var variety and also get more nutrition that way. So I'm gonna eat this and do a workout. So if you guys have never had passion fruit, it is extremely tart and tangy and sour. If you don't have it, a great alternative to putting on your papaya would be a squeeze of lime, but I just love passion fruit when I can actually find it. Hey you guys, just finished a workout, made myself a smoothie, and it's lunchtime, so I'm going to be making myself a rainbow salad. A lot of times I do them at dinner time, like before our cooked meal, but today I'm kind of feeling the green salad for lunch since I didn't have a green smoothie for breakfast. <gasps> Max! So it's night time, not quite dinner time, but I did make some steel cut oats. I made my apple pie steel cut oat recipe. So I think I mentioned it in another video, but the cool thing about steel cut oats, other than the fact that they're simply delicious and amazing, is that oats are a galactagog, which are foods that can help to increase your milk supply. So other galactagogs, I know it sounds like Star Trek or Star Wars or something, but other galactagogs that I'm actually putting all in this recipe are dates and flaxseed. So it's a three for one special. And you also saw me drinking my mother's milk earlier today. So kind of those four foods have been my go-tos to um, keep up milk supply. That being said, I don't know if I weren't eating them, if my milk would be dropping. I don't necessarily think so. I seem to have quite a bit. But try those foods if you are breastfeeding and you want to increase your milk supply. Apple pie steel cut oats are so, so good. And like I said, a lot of these ingredients are awesome for lactation. The oats, the dates, and the ground flax seeds. I topped it with some blueberries. I also threw in a little bit of cinnamon and vanilla bean powder. Apple pie, me oh my. Bo and I spent all day at the lake pushing snow, scooping snow. I think the high for the day was six degrees, so we are 
So looking forward to our Costa Rica retreat. Me and Max didn't even leave the house. Whoops. You guys didn't leave the house. I just got groceries and came home to a freshly chopped salad. So thank you. Hey, Bubba. Did you have a good day at the lake? Did you have a good day at the lake? Mm-hmm. How's that salad? Good. Thank you for it. Max, you probably can't wait to eat salads, huh? We're just hanging out. <laughs> Sitting like a proper boy at the table. Okay, you guys, I'm in a different outfit. This is not the same day. Full transparency here, mom life. Last night I ate a ton of oats for dinner. Dusty came home, they smelled good, so he did the same. That being said, I did not make the delicious Indian dinner that we were going to make, or Dusty didn't make it. Usually he cooks, I do the chopped salads, all the raw stuff. I'm gonna show you guys the delicious one of our most favorite recipes. I'll link it below because it's on our YouTube channel, but we usually cook this in either a slow cooker or in our Dutch oven on the stove top. So not only does it have red lentils, which are fantastic for postpartum because we lose a lot of blood during the giving birth process. So packed full of protein in the, and iron in those red lentils. It also has chickpeas, cauliflower, and a couple different varieties of sweet potatoes. It's got Japanese sweet potatoes, which are the white ones, and then orange, which are just your classic garnet. And then we've got peas, also high in protein. It's just protein and deliciousness packed. You guys are gonna love this one, I promise you. Just winding down with a little chamomile lavender tea and my little dude and now it's time for bedtime. So if you guys are into these what I eat in a day videos and hashtag mom life, not being able to cook a decent dinner, <laughs> thank goodness for the pressure cooker. That's all I have to say. Anyways, if you guys like this video, I would appreciate it if you'd give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, join us here at the Eat, Move, Rest fam and hit that subscribe button. Click the bell to make sure you've got your notifications turned on. You'll get alerted whenever we put out brand new videos here. Leave me some love in the comments below. Max wants to hear from you guys. What's your favorite food? Till next time, eat, move, rest, your best. Bye guys. I love you. I have another secret. I love you. <laughs> Can I tell you one more? I love you. <laughs>